That is a great question, and that is exactly why Christians need to be talking about this, because we miss out on what the scriptures are actually saying when we don't know how Passover works. Because there's a Sabbath in Passover, a regular weekly Sabbath, but there's also a High Sabbath. A High Sabbath is a feast Sabbath, and those are holy days where no work is done as well. Okay, I'm going to try to break this down using really simple terms, and I'm going to use the Gregorian days of the week because that will make more sense to most people. So Tuesday, they have their Last Supper meal where they have their covenant confirming meal. The next day, Wednesday, Yeshua, Jesus, goes to the cross. He dies at 3 p.m. They wanted his body off of the cross and in a tomb by Wednesday at dusk because of this verse. If they would have left it on the cross, it would have been a curse on the land. So Wednesday at dusk, the Passover started, and Thursday is the high Sabbath. Now, the Saturday, where he was still in the grave, would have been the normal weekly Sabbath. The command for first fruits is that it is always after the weekly Sabbath. And so the first fruits landed on the day after the, the weekly Sabbath, of course, and that is the day that Yeshua, Jesus, rose from the dead. Now, you have three days and three nights when you understand this. Now, look if you remove that Thursday and you just go Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, you don't get three days and three nights. So it's very important that we understand this because the Friday, Good Friday, is a false image. It's not a scriptural image. All the verses for this are down here. Hopefully you can screenshot that. So to answer your question, he rose on the first day of the week. It was the day after the Sabbath, and it is the Feast of First Fruits. So the name of that feast that was celebrated for thousands of years. So the Israelite people were celebrating the Feast of First Fruits for thousands of years before Yeshua fulfilled that feast. And that's why it's important to maintain the integrity of the feast and not call it other things or can make it confusing because you miss the wonderful prophecy that was fulfilled in that moment. Thousands and thousands of years, the Israelites were keeping the Feast of First Fruits.